Hello, this is Tatiana Osman, the Distance Education Coordinator here at Washington County Community College. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log in and go to My Pages and set up a few of the options that you have available inside the My Pages space. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to log in. And we're going to go to the My Pages tab. And as you can see, I have nothing set up so far on the My Pages tab. And I'm just going to show you a couple of the options that we can do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bookmark to My Pages. What a bookmark is, is essentially a, a link that sends you to another page that you think is interesting or, or want to have displayed and have a quick access to. So let's say you're taking a couple courses and you think that uh, it would be good if you had access to some grammar guides. You can go to another internet page, look up Grammar Guide, select a website that you particularly like to use. In this case, I'm just going to go to Guide to Grammar and Writing. You grab the URL link. You can go back to your previous screen, which is My Pages, and add a bookmark. You paste your URL link right into the URL section and you can give it a label. In this case I'm going to call it Grammar Guide. You can give it a description if you want to and you can also have an option to display it at certain times or just continuously display it or actually display it up to a certain time. In this case I'm just going to display it all the time so I'm going to save. And right now it's in an ungrouped section so if I want to add a group I could add a set and give it a name and in this case I will call it um, writing info press save and now I can move this I select it by saying I want to move my grammar guide bookmark into the writing info group I can submit it and it will now be there. If I go back to my main page, you can now see that under my bookmarks, I have under writing info a grammar guide bookmark. So up here I'm just going to get rid of the page that was originally there and select the hyperlink for grammar guide. And as you can see, it created a new page and allowed me to go directly to that website. And you can do that for multiple things. Next we're going to go down here to My Calendar. If you select My Calendar, it will just bring you to a page that just has the calendar information. And if we select Add an Event, the first thing that's going to come up is it's going to say you don't even have a calendar yet because you've just logged in. So we're going to create a calendar. You can put your name in here. In this case, the student's name is Test Student, so Test Student Calendar. We'll press save. Now we're going to create an event. So let's say the event is bake sale. The location will be the main hall. We'll select a date for it to happen. Let's just say it happens from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. once. Press save. And as you can see in the events calendar, I now have an event saying between 10 and 11 a.m. I have a bake sale. That was just a one-time event. If I had a weekly event, I could have said it was recurring and selected it. And the best thing to do is just play with the options. You're not going to break it. Go ahead and select things and try and place things in there and see what you want to do. As well, you don't have to have it displayed just as a calendar. In this case, it's displayed by week. You could select day, month, year, I 
guess it doesn't want to select year. Might be too big for this screen. An event list. There you go. And the event list will just display the events. The year the, here is your yearly one because you can also flip through each each section. Okay. So now to go back to the main page, use your breadcrumb. As for the announcements, the announcements will come in on their own depending on what you're registered for. If you have a class, any announcements for the class will populate inside here. And as well for the My Groups, we currently don't have groups, but if you want to create a new campus group, you could select Create New Campus Group and fill out the form to ask if you could create a new campus group. As well, you could edit the page. And under content, you could add a new portlet. And the portlets are those little page pieces inside the screen that allows you to add a little bit more information. And in this case, you could add your course schedule, which you already have, a grade report, uh, your unofficial transcripts, and academic information and course needs. That is it. That is just a brief overview of how you can make some changes on the My Pages screen.